Hi everybody, it's Christina from PrettyDistress.com and I'm back with part two today. Um, we're going to sand our piece. Last time we painted it and today we're going to distress it. So the materials you're going to need for today are sandpaper and you're going to have a medium 100 grade. The numbers are up here at the top when you're looking for your sandpaper. I have my sanding block with my sandpaper already loaded on it. And then to clean it off when we're done, you can either use a paintbrush to brush the dust off or you can use a tack cloth which is going to pull up all the dust. So as well. how we're going to start is we're going to rough up um, places that would normally see wear and tear. So we're going to do the edges around the drawers and any corner and I'm just going to be, I'm going to be really rough. And if I take it too far, we can always go back over and add paint in spots that we think look too bare. So let's go ahead and get started. So here I'm going to start on my drawer. I'm just taking my sandpaper and as you can see, you can totally see wood coming through and that's what I want. detailing sticking out on my drawer so I want to go over that too and expose the wood. Go on all the edges. I really like to rough up the feet a lot because that's something that would be a lot of wear and tear naturally. Basically any edge that's sticking out, I'm going to edge. The only thing you really want to stay away from is the flat surfaces, so I'm not going to do the sides at all, and I'm not going to do the top. If you do that, it kind of looks unnatural, um, so I just st tend to stick to the edges, but again, really, really rough it up and let that wood come through. So here is a close-up of what it looks like after I'm done. As you can see, there is a lot of that brown wood coming through. And when we put the dark wax on, um, it's even going to make that look stronger and just deeper and richer. So just make sure you're getting in all the crevices and wiping that dust off. So your piece will be clean. Put the wax on. Now that we've painted a distress, we're ready to wax our piece. So you are going to need your Annie Sloan wax, uh, clear wax, a wax brush. paper plate, a spoon to get the wax out, and then you're going to need any kind of lint-free cloth. I'm using an old t-shirt today. You could use a sheet, anything that's lint-free. So now we're ready to do our clear wax. This is the same technique I have shown you before if you've watched any of my other tutorials. Um, we're just going to do clear wax on the plate like this, spread it out. Take your brush, go right into the wax. Just get a little bit on there like this. Then we're gonna really work it in so they don't have a big blob on there just so it's evenly spread out like that. Then I'm gonna go right onto my piece and start working it in. Making sure I don't have any big gloves. That's what's really good about the brush is you can get in the detailing. You can also apply it with your lint free cloth and I have a tutorial on how to do that but today I'm using a wax brush. I've been using this brush for a long time so it doesn't shed that bad because I've washed it so many times. If your brush is new it is going to shed. So um, keep an eye out to see if you're losing any of the bristles in the wax and just pick them out as you go. I know it's really annoying, but you just kind of kind of <laughs> have to deal with it. There aren't any brushes that don't shed. You have to soak them and wash them a lot before they don't shed anymore. The key to the wax is just keep rubbing it in, keep rubbing it in. Think of it, think of it as hand cream. It doesn't just sit on top of your hand. You rub it into your hand. That's what Annie Sloan always says. So you just keep rubbing. Then to make sure that your coverage is good, just look for any spots um, and drag your hand across it. And if your hand drags, you probably have too much on there. So I just take my lint-free cloth with very light pressure 
and just rub to kind of get any of that excess off. I'm not rubbing, rubbing hard because that's buffing. I'm just doing very, very light pressure until my hand doesn't drag. So. I'm all done distressing and clear waxing my piece. The next thing we're going to do is dark wax and I'll show you that in our last video. So make sure you come back to check it out. In the meantime, you can go to prettydistress.com to get more tips and ideas on furniture painting. And you can also check out the description below for links to all the products that I use today. And I'll see you next time.